The following is uh, a graphing a linear inequality. There are different ways to graph a linear inequality. Uh, the bottom line is we graph it like a linear equation first. Uh, for this particular problem, we're going to use the x and y intercept method. Uh, if you remember, to find the x intercept of a line, you put in 0 for the y coordinate, and then you go find the x. To find the y intercept, put 0 in for the x coordinate, and then you go find the y. So that's what we're going to do. Put in 0 for y. And we have 2x, we're left with 2x less than or equal to 12. So we divide both sides by 2. And you have x less than or equal to 6. So we put in 6 in for our x. We have one point, our, y intercept, our x intercept, which is 6, 0. For the y intercept, we put 0 in for x. Uh, when we do this, you're going to see that 2 times 0 is going to be equal to 0. So we're going to be left with, and be careful, notice the negative in front of the 3. It's a negative 3y. So when you divide, you have to divide by negative 3. Now, in this particular problem, it doesn't matter, but we want to stay in the habit of changing the side, sign of an inequality when we divide by a negative. So we, we change the direction of that sign, and then it's going to be negative 4. And so our x coordinate is 0, our y coordinate is negative 4, that's our y intercept. So we plot these two points on our graph. We put in uh, 6 for the x intercept, which is where the line is going to intersect the x axis, and then negative 4 for the y. And then we're going to draw a solid line because it's less than or equal to. And when you have the equal to, that means solid. Without the equal to, then we make a dotted line. But on this particular problem, it's equal to, so we have the solid. We then test a point. We're going to test 0, 0. When we test 0, 0 into the uh, inequality, we put 0 in for x, 0 for y, which is going to leave us with 0 less than or equal to 12, which is a true statement. If it's true, then we always shade on the side of the line that has 0, 0, which in this case is going to be above and to the left. Um, the part bottom to the right is not part of the solution. So our solution is all the points that are covered by the region that I am shading in, uh, they are all true because 0, 0 is also true.